Today we're going to be sending you on a measuring hunt around your household. Now, if you have proper measuring instruments to measure length, like a ruler or a tape measure, you can use those. And if you have a measuring cup to measure volume, you can use that. If you don't have these things, we're going to get creative and we're going to use other objects in our household to measure. The first activity we're going to get you to do is we're going to get you to measure one person in your household. So to do that, you're going to get the person to lay down on the floor and we're going to use our feet to measure the length of the person. So we're just going to go one foot in front of the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Miss Lindemann is seven feet in length. The next activity you're going to be doing is measuring the length of a table in your house. You'll be using kitchen utensils to do this. So you just start at their base and you'll go one, two, oh look at that, the length of the table is just short of three utensils. The next activity you're going to do is you're going to find any cup in your house and you're going to measure how many cups does it take to fill your sink. Now, don't waste this water in your sink, you can use it to wash your dishes later. And for the last activity, this is where you're going to get creative. What other things in your household can you measure? You might use a watch to measure a book, or you might use a pot to measure volume. Happy measuring everyone! Don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe! Bye! Bye.